As you guys know now, I am a big fan of good storytelling in video games. Some of my favorite games of all time are games like The Walking Dead and Mass Effect. You know, the kind of games that focus more on the story and the characters as opposed to the gameplay and the explosions and all that stuff. But what was the very first game that really made me get into a story? Now this goes back a few years and into the game Bully on the PlayStation 2. This was probably the first game where I really started to care about the characters in the storyline and I really started to understand what was going on in a game's story. Because at that point before then, a lot of the games that I had played either had really mediocre stories that I didn't care about or their stories were somewhat non-existent. But even though, now that I look at this game's story now and see that it's really pretty average at best, I thought that this game's story was the bee's knees when I was a kid. I mean, now I look at it and I just see a very generic high school story of, like, the dork becomes the hero and all that stuff, but when I played that as a child, I thought it was absolutely awesome, mainly because, like I said, it was the first story that I really started to care about. But the game is just so hilarious and it really grips you in and one of the biggest things for me in storytelling is usually supporting characters. I think that that's why a lot of successful TV shows are as successful as they are is because they have a lot of supporting characters. You know, they don't solely depend on like uh, just the main characters and that really goes for me especially. Some of my favorite shows of all time would be like Scrubs which, you know, has a lot of supporting characters. You know, it isn't always just about JD and Dr. Cox and Turk and Elliot and Carla and all them. Sometimes it goes on to, you know, Todd and all the other cool people in that show. I really love how something can have a lot of supporting characters and this game had plenty of them. I got to the point in this game to where I knew the names of every single student in the entire school. Like I would look at them and I would be able to name them. That's how into this game I got and that is absolutely insane. Even though nowadays I look at this game and see a pretty typical story, as a child it was like the deepest story of betrayal and character development that I had ever seen in my life, and I thought it was absolutely insane. And that is why Bully was the first game to actually grip me into a story. That is it for this video, but for now I would like to thank you all for watching, hope you have a nice day, and goodbye!